Hi viewers, in this video we will see how to print the hill pattern using nested for loop. First we will try to analyze the given hill pattern. First line there is one star, before star there is four spaces and after star there is one space. Second line three spaces followed by two stars, after every star there is one space. Third line three stars and two empty spaces. Fourth line four stars with one space in the starting and in the fifth line there are five stars, after every star there is one space. The blank space are shown with the underscore symbol for better understanding and visualization. We will summarize the given pattern. Between each underscore there is no space after a star there is a space after a star there is a space this we need to remember when we are writing the code this is the code that we are going to use first an input is taken from the user the outer for loop will decide the number of lines to be printed the first inner for loop will decide how many blank spaces to be printed the second inner for loop will decide how many stars to be printed one thing you need to observe very carefully in the print function in the end attribute there is no space in the next print function there is a space in the end attribute this is because after underscore there is no empty space after the star there is a space because of this we used space when we are printing the star pattern and when we are printing the underscore we didn't use any space we will try to analyze how the given code will print the hill pattern first collect a number of rows to be printed from the user and convert that into the integer by using int function let me consider the value of n as 5. I want to print 5 rows. So the range of a will be 1 to 6. Initially the value of a will be 1. Now the execution will comes to first inner for loop. Here the range of b is a to n. Now the range of b will be 1 to 5. The value of b will be 1. One space will be printed the inner first for loop will iterate for four times this is the first iteration during the second iteration the value of b will be two one more space will be added the loop will continues the value of b will be three and one more space will be added again the value of b will be four and one more space will be added next the execution will comes to second inner for loop the range of c will be 1 to a plus 1 and the value of c will be 1 during the first iteration one star will be printed along with the space next the empty print function is executed and the cursor will move to second line now the value of a will be 2 the inner for loop will have a range 2 to 5 now it will iterate only for three times during each iteration one space will be printed so three spaces next second inner for loop will have a range 1 to 3 and this will iterate 2 times during each iteration one star along with the empty space will be considered empty print function is executed the cursor will move to third line now the value of a will be 3 the first inner for loop will have a range 3 to 5 this will iterate only for 2 times during each iteration one space will be added Next, the second inner for loop will execute it and it will have a range 1 to 4. It will iterate 3 times. During each iteration, one star along with space will be printed. Finally, three stars is printed. Next, empty print function is executed. The cursor will move to fourth line. The value of A will be 4. The range of B is 4 to 5. It will iterate only for one time. One space will be added to the fourth line the second inner for loop will have a range one to five this will iterate for four times during each iteration one star along with the space will be printed empty print function is executed the cursor will move to fifth line now the value of a will be five now the first inner for loop will not be iterated second inner for loop the value of c will have a range one to six it will iterate for five times during each iteration one star along with the space will be printed finally at the end of the second inner for loop five stars with the base will be printed and finally the print function is executed and this is the output you are going to get